Hi, this is a basic tutorial on how to use Authority Labs. So, Authority Labs is a service that lets you perform rank monitoring so you'll know if your web pages are ranking for keywords that you've optimized them for. There are many uh, different rank trackers out there, but there are a number of qualities that set Authority Labs apart from the other services. So, for example, um, this, uh, Authority Labs automatically checks keywords every day once they've been put into the system so you don't uh, have to uh, keep on um, updating your your records or your uh, data inside authority labs and the service also tracks local results and it's web-based so it's available anywhere so those are some of the advantages that you'll gain if you sign up for a service like authority labs um, so to start using Authority Labs, you need to sign up for an account, of course. Uh, the pricing uh, will be as follows. So if you go for a pro account, you'd have to pay $99 a month. That'll give you 1,000 keywords and 50 domains. The plus account, will um, that's $49 a month, where you can put 250 keywords and 25 domains. And you also have the basic uh, account for 100 keywords and 10 domains and the enterprise account where you can uh, specify unlimited keywords and unlimited domains. So once you've signed up you'll be given a URL from which you can log in. So inside you'll see an overview of all the sites you've added so far and how many keywords you're checking for those sites. So to add a domain you want to check for rankings, simply type the domain over at the box to the upper right here. So let's just add a new domain here. So let's just add that. Alright, so, so it says here domain successfully added. So, as I mentioned, one good feature of Authority Labs is you can specify the location. So, if you want to change the target country for this one, you just need to scroll down, right, and click on the link that says Change Country here. So, that will give you a couple of options, so you can choose which country. So, for this example, let's just settle for the default country, which is the U.S. All right, so I've just hit the back button there, so that'll that that has taken me back to the page here for the website. Um, so the next step will be to add keywords. So to do that, you just need to uh, add the keywords right here on the right side. Right, so you can add keywords one by one by typing them here, or you can click the link that says Add Multiple Keywords if you want to add. Uh, more than one keyword. So I've prepared a list of keywords here. So let me just grab them and let's copy them over to this box here. So just make sure that your keywords are listed uh, one per line, just like uh, this list here, and then just click on add keywords there. So after hitting the Add Keyword button, you see the keywords will fill the space to the left here. Alright, so they're listed there. Uh, unfortunately, you'll have to wait uh, for the following day for results to appear here. Right, so you just need to sleep over. Um, and then the next day, you'll see some results there and you'll see uh, which keywords your uh, web pages are currently ranking for. So just to show you how the results will look like after one day, let's take a look at a site that already has results. All right. Let's just untick these boxes. All right. So looking at this uh, page here, you'll clearly see for which keywords um, your site is currently ranking for. So currently, this site is number one for these three terms up here. It's number two for these other three terms here. And you'll see for uh, the rankings for each of the other keywords that we've specified here. Now, if you hover over the ranking number here, 
just like uh, I'm doing right now, you will clearly see for which URL uh, the term is number 14, right? So if I hover over there, I see that um, I'm number one for the term Darvas boxes, and the page that's number one for that term is Nicholas Darvas. Uh, trading.com slash darvas dash boxes dot php now one other cool feature of authority labs is you can also um, you can assign tags to results or feature reference so uh, let's just say I want to assign tags to these three keywords for which I've um, ranked number one four so I just go ahead and tick them and then I go over here to the right side right where it says tags and I'll just go ahead and click manage over there All right okay that'll bring us to this page where uh, the keywords I've previously st uh, ticked still appear right so I just need to add a tag here so I want to add a win tag just to mark that those three keywords I've already won um, for. So I just uh, type win here and add tag. All right. So once the tag has been added, all I need to do is to click on the link that says tag keywords. And that will tag the three keywords I've ticked uh, right here. So it says win. So I've got the three keywords there that I've tagged under the win tag. Let's say I want to add another tag. I want to tag some keywords for SEO. So uh, that's just my um, tag uh, for keywords that I want to perform SEO on. So uh, let's just add the tag first here. All right. So I have a, an SEO tag now right there. All right. So I can go ahead and pick some of the keywords here to the left for which I want to add the SEO tag. So if you want to see the rankings of the keywords first before you assign the SEO tag to them, you can just go back to the rankings page here. That will bring me to this uh, page again where I can see the rankings and I can identify uh, which keywords I want to um, do more SEO for so that they rank higher. So let me just pause this video while I choose some keywords which I want to tag for SEO. Alright, so now I've chosen some keywords uh, I'd like to assign my SEO tag to. So I've ticked those boxes there and uh, I'll just go to uh, manage tags here. And I'll just check that those keywords uh, have remained ticked over here. All right, that seems right. I'll go ahead and make sure that the SEO tag uh, is in the box here, and I'll click tag keywords. All right, if I scroll down here, you'll see that under the SEO tag, I have 10 keywords here. All right. And again, for the win tag, I've got my three keywords there. So that's all there really is to it, to um, using Authority Labs for checking on your rankings. Yeah.